Running an ADP Zacian deck that didn't feature any new Darkness Ablaze cards, Stefan Ivanov won the Atlas Expanded mini event prior to the release of Champion's Path. Later on Twitter, though, he said swapping out Shaman EX for a Crobat V, you know, their abilities are the exact same. He said swapping them out was the play, so that's what I've done here. Other than that, every other card is exactly the same. It, you know, it has your, your expanded stable cards, it has Choice Band, Fighting Fury Belt, Float Stone. Of course, Double Dragon Energy to use ADP's attack on turn 1 with just a single energy. Computer Search is obviously the ace spec you want. Just discard two cards from your hand and go get one card that you can... Any card you want, and then Max Elixir, look at the top 6 and attach a basic energy. The deck is super simple. It is extremely powerful. I went on, I think, like a 10-game winning streak with it. It is just amazing. And before you say anything, yes, ADP is still really good and expanded, even with Pokemon Ranger, which just erases your altered creation. But if they don't play Pokemon Ranger, or if they can't find it right away, well, then you pretty much just win. The reason for that is, is because with Double Dragon Energy, getting that turn one altered creation is so simple. You do that, and then you basically put your opponent on a two-turn clock. Can they find Pokemon Ranger in two turns? If yes, I mean, you still have Zacian V, you still have Max Elixir and Metal Saucer and 10 energy at your disposal. Uh, you have Ultra Necrozma if you are playing like a really weak deck. So if you're playing something like Mad Party or Night March and they have a ton of just weak Pokemon on their side of the field, you can wait until they get down low, use Dice Dorching Light, take all the prizes instead of using Alter Creation, so that is a great attack. All in all, I can't say enough good things about the deck. Yes, it does run into some issues. I'm sure I'll, I'll show some of those off uh, during the gameplay, but... Ultimately, I think it's amazing, so let's see if ADP truly is the ruler of Expanded right now. Alright, so my opponent decided to go first. That's fine with me. This is an amazing starting hand. You know, there's some things that I wish were a little bit different. I might have to ditch the Target Whistle. Target Whistle is just an amazing card. You can just... Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, this might just be the... The Pheromosa. Yep, this is the Pheromosa deck. Well... I'm just going to I'll let this play out and see what happens. So my opponent did a whole bunch of stuff and they didn't even get the win and that's just a win for me. So they got their deck down to four cards and they lost and that is amazing and I did nothing and I won. Okay, let's go to an actual game here. And for the first true game of the video, I will choose to go second a hundred times. Whoa, almost lost the mouse again. hundred times out of a hundred, you want to go second. And this is perfect. So I have some options. You always want to go second because you can use Alter Creation turn one. Uh, if my opponent's playing Latios, I'm just going to concede. I don't want to sit through that again. But this is, this is definitely good because I can use Lele to get Guzma and Hala, or I can use Tag Call. This is a great matchup for me because... Well, actually, this is a horrible matchup. I think I just need to go heavy with Zacian, to be honest with you. Because if I go up with... Ah, you know what? Let, let's, let's let it ride. Let's see what happens. So, whoa, hang on. I uh, just got to make sure I have the Float Stone. So I have the Float Stone, I have Chaotic Swell, and I have Double Dragon. That's perfect. So I, I think I'll put the Fighting Fury Belt on the ADP. So that goes there, and then I will Guzma and Hala. I think I'll ditch the Lele and that. Chaotic Swell, Float Stone, Fighting Fury Belt. Or <laughs> whatever I said. Okay, it's Chaotic Swell, Float Stone, Double Dragon Energy, and then... Uh, I think I do nothing, because if I put the Zacian down, that's just a target. And there you go. Turn 1 Alter Creation, easy as that. If I didn't have the Tag Call, I would have just dropped the Lele. That would have grabbed me the supporter I needed. That's just the synergy here. You know, Guzma and Hala. It's a, it's a good card in Standard, but in Expanded, it's just insane. You get a Tool, which is Float Stone most of the time. Chaotic Swell, which is amazing. And a Special Energy, which is Double Dragon Energy. Your opponent, I mean, look what happened. I forced them to have a perfect turn two. And okay, so this is this is just a firebox deck. So they just play a whole bunch of things. They have style. Oh, that's tough. Okay. 
but I did get off the altar creation. I don't know if the deck plays switch. You know, I was thinking maybe I dig for a match elixir or something. Okay, so they had a good turn. So what I might do, well, there's a max elixir. I think I might quick wall the sycamore because I can get a zation and then maybe I can get a Doozma or something. So I'll go get a zation. I could also get a mawile, but that wouldn't do anything. So get zation. Hope I hit this max elixir. No, of course not. All right, need to need to hit some things here. So there's a metal saucer. I need to, yeah, just trainer's mail. There's sycamore. I might play sycamore. Who knows? I might get a little crazy here. And then great catcher, max elixir, Guzma. Well, I think no matter what, Guzma is the right play because. So I will. Yeah, I can't metal saucer, so maybe I should have saved the thing. Okay, here we go. If I bring up the nine tails, I can't knock it out with ADP. If I bring up the Victini, I can knock that out with ADP. Uh, or I can just knock out anything with Zation. So I think I just do that. I will metal saucer there. I will double dragon energy there. And then I think I think it's worth doing that, and then I'll just Intrepid Sword and get nothing. Okay, but I have Guzma. So the biggest threat on their side of the field is Blacephalon because that can do a whole bunch of things. The Victini can knock out a Zation. That is tough. So, I mean, ev everyone is a threat. But as long as the ADP survives, I should be fine. And they're ending their turn with Kiawe. You don't see Kiawe much anymore once they got rid of the turn one supporter rule because Kiawe is great on turn one. You just search your deck for up to four energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. With ho it was amazing. But it, once, they, once they ended your chances of, uh, you know, turn one... Oh! So they're forcing me to... Oh, this is, this is unfortunate. Okay, well, I mean... I can't, I can, I think I have to Guzma, yeah, I have to Guzma the Blacephalon because if I can't knock out the Ninetales this turn, so I have to knock out the threat, and that's Blacephalon, because that, that was a great move by them, putting the energy on the Ninetales, because I can't knock out a Ninetales, but I can knock out the Blacephalon. So that's three prizes, and I'm just a knockout away from winning, and that is the power of ADP. You know, it's a little worrying to face a fire deck when you have Zations on your side of the field, but the good news about a fire deck and Expanded is that they're running Kiawe and Welder. Pokemon Ranger is probably not going to be something you see in a, in a fire deck and Expanded, because they just want to get their energy into play with Welder and stuff like that, so... As tough as it might seem, you have a decent chance of winning. And the target whistle might come into play. No, I'd probably just retreat. Or, or I'll break cash with the Lele, whichever. They went and grabbed Ninja Boy. That's not something I was expecting to see in this deck. So that one, you just basically you just switch. Switch a card in your deck with one of your Pokemon. So they'll make the Ninetales V probably a Blacephalon if I had to guess, but Reset Stamp is banned and expanded. Oh, they just got Vitini, okay. Reset Stamp is banned and expanded, so they're not going to Reset Stamp me. They've already used their supporter, so they're not going to end me. So that's just game. Yeah, they have Fire Crystal, so I think... I think this is a quick win, and I'll just skip ahead to the end here. So they didn't even take a knockout, and I'm just going to ultimate ray them with the extra 10 damage from Fighting Fury Belt, and that'll be that. So ADP takes an easy game one, or game two I guess, and we'll see what happens in game three. I'm facing off against Brosidon, and no, I never want to go first. Hopefully, and this is a, well, this is pretty much the exact same start as last time. I just tag call for Guzman, Holland, ADP. And oh, Mewtwo and Mew is actually a little bit tough. Especially if I have to float stone the Zacian instead of putting the Fighting Fury Belt on it. 
but this could be a good matchup because if this is the Blastoise, Archie's Ace in the Hole deck, yeah, there's the Execute with Propagation. That card, the reason you see that card in Expanded is because you can keep using it as discard fodder. Oh, zero vanish. That's going to be tough. Okay, so yeah, they they have a great matchup against me because if they get enough energy on it, they can zero vanish me. They shuffle all energy from my Pokemon into my deck. They don't take a knockout unless, you know, it's a two-hit knockout. So I really have to just kind of go crazy here. So I'll get ADP and Guzman Hala. I think, because I need, I need the tool, so I have to kind of, you know, the quick ball would be, it'd be, it would suck to lose the quick ball, but I think I kind of have to, or I can get rid of both of these. You know what? Let's get rid of both of the energy and just hope that my deck has a ton of them. So how many, I have eight left, that's good. So I have to save the Fighting Fury belt. Do I want to get an energy with Viridian Forest? You know, maybe Viridian Forest, maybe I should keep that in play. I'm thinking here, if I keep Viridian Forest in play, does that help me at all or does that just help them? You know, I think it just helps them. So I will... I'll have to bump it. Okay, so we'll do that. Metal Saucer, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been so greedy with the Fighting Free Belt because they might be able to, you know, Enhanced Hammer or just if they have an insane turn, they'll be able to knock me out. But I think this is a, this is a pretty good matchup and it's kind of what I wanted to talk about next. You know, the title of the video is, is ADP the best? Well, it did win a tournament. It was a mini tournament. You know, obviously it wasn't in real life, but I, I think it's impossible to crown a single deck as the best deck in Expanded. There's just so many thousands of cards to choose from in Expanded that there's endless counters to every deck. So I think if you took the top 10 most played and most successful decks in Expanded, you could go to each one and say, you know, it has a positive matchup against five of the other decks, an auto win against one, an auto loss against another, and the other two are just a crapshoot like this one. And that's just expanded, you know, and that's not even including the fast raid decks, which, you know, flip a coin, you know, do you win? Yes or no. So I think expanded, it really is just, you, you can't say there's a best deck in expanded. It's just impossible. Because there's so many combinations, you know, in standard, you can't say it either, but you can say, you know, these are the top three In expanded has to be, these are the top 10. And then you have caveats for each, you know, it's good against this, it's bad against this. Uh, so they have an Archie's. I don't think I can disrupt their hand. Um, what I might have to do... Okay, so they have Skyfield. I do have Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo helps me with Skyfield. And so what are they planning here? They have two energy. They're just going to Hydro Pump. So that is tough. What I can do is that good. It's not perfect. So if I put the Fury Belt on the Zation, I think I do that. And then Quick Ball, the. Actually, I should have used the Tag Call. That was kind of dumb. So I will go get Crobat. Uh, Lele is unfortunately prized. But I want to hold on to that Metal Saucer just in case I can put an energy in the discard. All right, let's make it happen. Well, so I know they have Archie's Ace in the Hole. Is it worth keeping the Mawile? And of course, as soon as I start recording, someone's uh, mowing their lawn. So you can probably hear that in the background. I think it makes sense for me to just go for it and, you know, let it ride. So I will... Hey, what am I doing? I'm using Sycamore, so I will probably just get the ADP. Um... Or do I get the Suda Wudo and drop the Suda Wudo? You know what? Let's do that. I'll put the Mawile down. I'll see if I can bring anyone else. They have Skyfield and Archie's Ace in the hole. So 
That's actually perfect for me because they can't get a Blastoise now. So that's pretty much just game at this point, right? Um, I can knock out... Well, I can knock out somebody. I don't know if that's actually the right move here or not. Because if I knock somebody out, then they can start doing so they can use zero vanish. And that's if I knock somebody out. You know, they have a nothing hand going on. So yeah, I think I just hit into the Mewtwo and Mew. If they happen to take a knockout, that is fine with me. Uh, yeah, I'll just put two on the Mawile and then one on the Zacian. And everything they have relies on this trainer's mail. It's a boss's orders? Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. They'll probably just bring up the Suda Wudo. And then I'll knock out the Mewtwo and Mew, go to two prizes, and that's pretty much it. Because... Well, actually, they'll still have the Palkia. This is tough. So, they're gonna Archie's Ace in the hole. Oh, they took a knockout. That's right. So what I'm gonna do is... I don't know what I'm going to do. I shouldn't have used those Metal Saucers. I'm down three Metal Saucer. I think what I can try and do is put something on the bench that they don't want on the bench, and that would be... I could put the Magikarp and Wailord, I could put the Execute, I could put the Dedenny. I think if I Target Whistle somebody that they don't want, and I think that's Magikarp and Wailord. Uh, actually, maybe it's probably it's probably Dedenny. Don't, I'm not going to get too greedy here. It's probably Dedenny that they don't want. So I need to hold on to that. I need to... I think I just need to just, just keep everything the way it is. Keep my hand the same. Uh, yeah. And then just Ultimate Ray. They're going to put... They're probably going to use Palkia GX's Zero Vanish. Uh, but if for some reason they don't, I'll just put an energy there. So I just need to take one more knockout. I have to hope that they can't get their hand down to one card. I have to... Uh, hope that they don't end me. Well, actually, they can't end if they use Archie's Ace in the hole, and they can't disrupt my hand. Because again, Reset Stamp is banned and expanded, so if they use Archie's Ace in the hole, they can't do anything with my hand. So that is good. So I'll have Max Elixir and Double Dragon Energy, and they will, they will have shuffled all of my energy into the deck. And if they fill up their bench, Mawile is going to be extremely powerful. I have the Float Stone, I have Great Catcher... I have pretty much everything that I need to win the game. They cannot win the game this turn. I can win the game next turn. Uh, it doesn't matter if they zero vanish. And man, that, that lawnmower is annoying on my end. Hopefully the mic isn't picking it up too much. But I should be able to win this, no problem, as long as nothing happens to my hand. I don't know what they could do with my hand. Is there any... You know, Mars Shadow's banned, Reset Stamp is banned. They've used their supporter for turn. I don't think there's anything they can do. And here we go. They're using the Blastoise's Deluge. They're going to put... Oh, they're one short. Oh, that's tough. So even if they had used Zero Vanish, uh, I still would have had it. You know, I have Max Elixir. I would have just thinned out the deck with Lele. And that's just game because the Zacian V does 270. So I just have game. I... Yeah, just hang on. Let me... Let me double check. So it's two, yes, 270, taking the knockout, don't have to worry about anything. And this was a good matchup, but if you plan ahead for that zero vanish, you can get around it. So that was a good win. Very happy with ADP Zation. It beat the Mewtwo and Mew, and let's go to another game and see what happens. So for this game, I'll choose to go first, just to kind of show what it's like when you go first. And, well, first off, you want to start Zacian, or at least have a Zacian somewhere on your side of the field. And another benefit to going first and expanded is that if you're facing the Fast Raid deck, you don't have to worry about Fast Raid, so that's one of the benefits. I don't know if my opponent's actually there, so this could be a really quick game here, but I will just quick ball the Sycamore, go and get a ADP. I think it might be worth using computer search just to save that Zation because I really don't want to go down two prizes right off the bat. So I'll just get a float stone and I guess I'll attach to the Zation V. 
Or do I want to just attach the ADP? Let's attach the ADP. Sure, why not? Perfect. Oh, losing that Lele is going to hurt. But I could always just... I could drop the Lele, go get Guzma and Hala. I could get rid of my top deck and, say, Sycamore. And then I have, you know, Chaotic Swell, Fighting Fury Belt or Choice Band, and Double Dragon Energy. But I don't think my opponent is there. And they are there! Okay, so there's a Torkoal, so maybe they were just watching TV or something. And they just didn't notice that the game had queued up. So they are there, that's good. Saving the Zation was a good idea. And another worry about Expanded is that, you know, are they just playing a standard deck in Expanded? But the Acrobike and the Fury Belt prove that no, they're not doing that. And so, you know... One of the bad things about going first is that you might be facing a welder deck and you might be giving them exactly what they need. And see, they... perfect. And in hindsight, I should not have attached that energy, but I think if I drop the Lele, I can go get Guzma and Hala. I can get rid of the Sycamore and... actually no, probably the Quick Ball and the Guzma. That's probably the safe bet because I don't really have a whole lot brewing next turn. But what I'll have to do is, oh, that float stone should not be there. Yeah, I'm kind of in trouble here. So this is why 100 times out of 100 you go second. Uh, yeah, so I'll do that. I will get the float stone again, yeah. So you don't play field blower in this deck, that's tough. Uh, no, float stone goes there. Do that. I could put some damage on this thing instead and just have, you know, in hindsight, I should have made some different decisions. I should have attached that metal energy here, thinking that they were going to, you know, outrage or anything. So that was a mistake on my part. I'm just so used to going second and, you know, being on autopilot. But I went first and that was a mistake. You always want to go second. But what I should have done is maybe used Ultimate Ray, grabbed a another Zation, and then just had two Zations pretty much loaded and ready to go. But I went for the Alter Creation, so if they decide to bench somebody, that's good for me. Okay, that's bad for me. But if they put it down, I can Great Catcher it. Oh, I can Great Catcher the Denny. And, oh, feel bl oh no. That is horrible. I should have saved the float stone. I should have saved it. You know, the good news is, is I could put a choice band on it, but it wouldn't be enough now. So the Lele is going to have to take a hit. Uh, so they have a welder, of course. Wow. So yeah, never go first with this deck if you have the choice. Because this went downhill real quick. Uh, yeah, they got random receiver. I wish they would reprint random receiver. And they have an enhanced hammer. That's fine. But man, if they if they reprinted a uh, random receiver, I'd be so happy. And they had to use flare strike, so that's really good. So they they can't knock out my lele next turn unless they do some switching. Uh, well, I guess they could just retreat. But well, there's crowbat. Let's make some things happen. Let's do some shaking and baking here. There's that. So I. I think I do that. Go get ADP. So I don't have a way of retreating, do I? I I could use Guzma. That's not going to do it. Um, well, I could go get a Denny or something. No, this is this is just horrible. And this this is pretty much expanded in a nutshell. Here is never ever go first. So what do I do? Well, let's see if I hit the max elixir. I did not. Well, let's just attach the double dragon energy and hope for the best, but I don't think it's going to happen this game. So I'll max elixir. You know, if I'd known that I was going to get max elixir and metal saucer, I would have attached to the Lele. But you can't know these things, right? So I'll just drop the Zation. Uh, yeah, I'll have to Intrepid Sword, nothing, but with, with a hand like that, it's pretty much guaranteed that they're going to win. You know, I don't think there's anything I could have done after my earlier mess-ups. But one of the cool things about Expanded is, you know, another reason why there won't be a, a number one best deck in Expanded is because the meta is always changing. 
So let's say Mad Party becomes the best deck ever. Well, then people will just start playing the Oratorio and the Terran again because, oh, hang on. Because when Nightmarsh was big, people started playing Oratorio and Terran. And Mad Party is starting to get big, so if you're facing Mad Party a lot and expanded, and I don't think I can really win here. I can I can knock out the Denny, and then that's about it. Uh, do I have a way of changing their hand size at all? I don't think I do. And get rid of the Guzman Hala and the Double Dragon Energy. I'll still get the Denny. Because I do I have I don't think the deck plays N. So it's just gonna be it's just gonna be well played, I think. And do I play I don't play any way of disrupting their hands. So yeah, the that's another unfortunate thing with the deck is <laughs> if they get a million cards in their hand, there's nothing you can do. And I can go and get a Guzma. If for some reason they don't win this turn, I have Guzma knockout on the Torkoal and that's game. So that, that's just how quick Expanded is. You know, you think Standard is quick? Wait until you jump into Expanded. You know, you could take a Standard build of ADP into Expanded and do really well. Yeah, there's the bosses for game. Why, why are you playing bosses in Expanded? You gotta play the Lysanders, the Expanded, come on. But yeah, there's a loss. If I'd just gone first, it would have been pretty much a guaranteed win. But because I went second, it was a loss. Let's see, can I see their list? Hey! And they play the Volcanian, awesome. Volcanian is great, and they play Cinderace, so... They just had some amazing draws. They play Scramble Switch, you don't see that very often. Uh, just because computer search is the ace spec that you want. But that was a good game. I will go to one more, and we'll see what happens. I lost the coin flip, and they let me go first, so I'm thinking this is a mirror match. And it's not a mirror match I want to be a part of because they're going to get the turn one. So in, in the world of mirror matches with ADPization, whoever goes... Oh, it's the... Okay, it's the Ultra Necrozma one. But if in the world of mirror matches with ADP, you don't want this to be the thing that happens. You don't want to go first. Okay, so they have a Grimer. If I can get the Chaotic Swell, that'd be great. Um, I think I will Trainer's Mail, Trainer's Mail. So there's a Max Elixir and Choice Band. That's good. I think what I do here is Trainer's Mail again. Uh, there's Great Catcher, there's Tag Call. So Great Catcher probably won't do me any good in this matchup. I, yeah, I don't really have to worry about Marnie here. But what I think I'll do is... I'll ditch the Sycamore, or I'll ditch the Tag Call. Uh, let's ditch the Tag Call, sure. And I'll go get a Zation. And I think what I'm going to try and do here is just put as much energy on the Zation as I can, because they can't knock it out in one hit. And I have that. I could... Could put the Fury Belt on it. I could Crobat. I think I'm just gonna. Oh, I almost hit done. Hang on. And there's two Metal Saucer. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, actually, maybe not. Depending how this turn goes, if I can just get an Ultra Creation off. Yeah, Silent Lab, that is totally expected. This is the reason why the Ultra Necrozma deck can be so good, is because it shuts off basic Pokemon's abilities. So actually, I should have used. Eh, Crobat, maybe. I don't know. And there's Ultra Crossbow. It can't attack unless I have two or fewer prize cards. But with Silent Lab in play, it can do whatever it wants, and that is bad for them. Okay, here we go. Make it happen. So I'm not going to use Ultra Necrozma at all in this matchup. So I'll ditch that and that. Go get Floatstone, Double Dragon Energy, and Chaotic Swell. Hopefully they don't have their Fuel Blower in their hand, and hopefully they don't have Pokemon Ranger. And that is my only, only stadium. Okay, so they do 170, that is 340, so Fighting Fury Belt doesn't really matter. But if I put the Fighting Fury Belt into play, I think, I think I just have to alter creation. Because they could do a whole bunch of things, you know, they could field blower my stadium and my floatstone. I can't lose that floatstone. Because when Ultra Cosma attacks, 
discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So you have to be ready for that. And they also have Guzma and Hala. And the reason it's good there is for similar reasons, they can get double dragon energy and they can also go get their silent lab and just like a choice band or something. But if they don't have a field blower, that chaotic swell is staying in play. So they got rid of double Guzma and fan club. They might have Pokemon Ranger in their deck, which would be kind of tough. So yeah, there's the silent lab. So they can't attack this turn. Oh, they have the Alolan Muck. They can attack this turn. So what I think I should do, I mean, they're down to Silent Lab. Do I just say they don't got it? Okay, so we will do that. I can't lose the Metal Saucers. So I have to, I have to just hope that this is, oh no, it won't have abilities. Oh man. That this hurts. You know, you, you want your deck to cooperate with you, but then you have to ditch all your metal saucers, and it's like, I don't call that cooperating with me. So I'll do that. I will take this knockout and Brave Blade. So they're down an energy and two silent lab. They only have four cards in their hand, and I have a pretty good chance of winning here. As long as I don't bench anyone unnecessarily, I should be fine. You know, okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Alolan Mach just shuts off basic Pokemon's abilities. They can attack this turn. They can't disrupt my hand. They've played teammates. They cannot disrupt my hand. And once they take a knockout, then Ultra Burst becomes active. So then it doesn't matter that they have Silent Lab or Alolan Mach. And they have Lucky Egg. But I think I will Guzma the Alolan Mach. Um, hmm. Well, I have to, because I, I, I can't attack, so... I could target Whistle, that wouldn't get me anywhere. So I have to Guzma the Alolan Mach. And then... I have to... hang on. So in the next turn I will... yeah, okay. So I don't want to give them the target whistle. Silent Lab is probably going to stay in play. So I'll get rid of Computer Search. I will do that and get rid of Target Whistle. I think I'll hit Done. I'll go get a Zation. Oh! Are you kidding me? I prized two Zation? Well, I mean, the odds that I don't get a Zation here pretty low. So I could, I could get something like Metal Saucer. And just be like, well, I'm gonna be. Oh man, if if I if I screw this one up, I mean, how many? Yeah, I mean, I have to. I was gonna say I can't. I have to get a metal saucer. Uh, wow. So yeah, that is that is really tough. So one of these two has to be a Zation. If I don't get a Zation here, then I just basically lose. So please be a Zation. Oh no, don't do this, don't do this. Okay. Oh man. The deck plays three Zation. So, oh that was tough. So as long as they don't get Field Blower, there's Rescue Stretcher, that's fine, because I, I think there's another Float Stone somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't know what the point of that was, because if I take a Knockout, I win. Oh no, they're going for the Field Blower. Okay, so what has to happen here is, well, they can't win because they knock out this Zation, they knock out this ADP, so what? Oh, so I'm just a Max Elixir or a Metal Saucer away from winning, and I think this is a good uh, match to end it on because Ultra Necrozma is something you have to be prepared for. It's a really good deck but it really struggles against ADP because ADP doesn't need to knock out six of these things. It just needs to knock out three. Okay, so here we go. Put that there, put that there. I will tag call, see if there's anything to get. There's Guzman Hala. Uh, that won't, that won't matter. So I just need a Metal Saucer or a Max Elixir. That's it. Please don't 
lose it here. And there we go. Okay, so I can, well, this is, I don't have anything. This is where things get a little dicey. Do I max elixir first or do I trainer's mail first? If I trainer's mail first, that increases the odds of max elixir. But if I, I think I have to trainer's mail first. Okay, that's game. Oh, sequencing and expanded can be difficult sometimes to say the least. But definitely a great final game. It was looking a little dicey there for a minute, but with your metal saucers and your max elixirs, you can you can get back into it, that's for sure. So is ADPization the best deck in Expanded? Like I said earlier, you can't pick a single best deck in Expanded. There's just so many different combinations, so many counters to every single deck. But what I can say is that ADPization is an amazing deck. I won a tournament earlier today, just one of the events on PTTGO. I've been on a 10 game winning streak with it. It has a plus matchup against pretty much everything out there. Uh, if for some reason you can't, you know, if you're facing Honchkrow, that's fine. Honchkrow doesn't let you attach special energy. So you, you just forget about the ADP and you just worry about Metal Saucer and Max Luxor and Trepid Sword. So it just, it has just these two Pokemon, ADP and Zation V, they're perfect partners for each other. They're two amazing cards. When you put them together, they make an almost unstoppable deck and expanded. So you do have to be a little bit flexible with this deck sometimes. If your opponent, you know, if you notice that your opponent has Pokemon Ranger, or if they're playing a list uh, that you're familiar with that has Pokemon Ranger, maybe you just forget about Alter Creation altogether and just go heavy with Ultimate Ray or just with Brave Blade. But I think the deck, you know, kind of spoke for itself this whole video. It is amazing. I don't need to say anything else about it. I'll leave the link to the list in the description. I'll leave the list in the description. If you take this online, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you do. And other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with another one of the top decks in Expanded. I'll see you then.